Hi, my name is Judy Blondell. Welcome to our presentation of how to handle returned items from your bank in QuickBooks. Today you will learn what to do if your customer has given you a check that has been returned by your bank, commonly referred to as a bounced check. You will also see how to re-invoice the customer, adding your fees onto the invoice. You have accepted a check from your customer. But a few days later, you receive a notice from your bank stating that the check has been returned as insufficient funds, item not signed, or some other reason. So what should you do now? First, you need to have an item created called an other charge in your item list that will capture the amount of the bounce check. From the lists menu, choose item list and new from the item list menu. In the field type, choose other charge from the drop down list. In the item name number, you can call it something like NSF check. In the description field, use a better description that will show on the invoice. I'll use check returned by bank. Leave the amount field and the percentage field blank so that you will be able to change it according to the check amount. Be sure the tax code is non-taxable. In the account field, link the new item to the bank account that is used to make your deposits. Click on Next and you will need to create another new item that will enable you to charge the NSF fees from your bank back to your customer. This will also be an item created as an other charge in the type field. You can name it S NSF fees in the item name number field. And also add a description for the printed invoice. I'll just call it bank fees. You can fill in the amount the bank has charged you or enter an amount each time you need to charge fees back to your customer. Also, the fee amount may be more than your bank charges you so that, in effect, add an inconvenience fee. <coughs> You need to check with your state's laws first. In Florida, the rule is $25 if the value of the check does not exceed $50. If the check exceeds $50 but does not exceed $300, the limit is $30. If the value exceeds $300, you may charge $40 or 5% of the value of the check, whichever is greater. <clears throat> Thank you. This item is also non-taxable and should be linked to your bank service charges as an expense account. Click OK, close the item list. Now we re-invoice the customer using the newly created items for the amount of the bounce check plus the amount of the NSF fees from your bank.
Now I'll add the bank charges. And I'm going to charge the maximum fee. This will deduct the amount of the bounce check from your bank account, which in return reverses the amount of your original deposit and increases your account's receivables to reflect of the amount of the invoice your customer still owes you. Also, your checking account will match your statement when you want to reconcile your account at the end of the month. The final step is to record the fee that your bank has charged your checking account for your customer's return check. The easiest way is to enter a transaction into your bank register on the day the fee occurred as a bank service charge and note in the memo field as NSF fee with the name of the customer, the check number, and the amount of the return check. You can also open the split feature on the transaction and enter the customer's name in the customer job field to be sure that the NSF fees are the responsibility of the customer. Thank you for watching. We have shown you how to care, take care of a customer's bounce check and how to recoup the fees you have incurred from your bank. I hope that you have found this information useful.